Okay, bike update. Woohoo! <laughs> um, here's the bike. It is no longer sitting on the center stand, which is great. Um, the Erica's are mounted. They're not installed yet because uh, um, uh, I bought a set of Clearwater Erica's and Darla's with the can opener version 2, which is pretty recent. Relay and everything that you needed uh, from a guy on eBay for about five, six hundred dollars under retail. But he had his Erica's mounted um, down the lower crash bars, well, the OEM ones, and he had his Darla's mounted as replacements to the OEM fog lights. Um, so I had to spend 125 to Clearwater with shipping, including shipping, to buy the correct mounts. You see the Darla fork mounts are right there, and of course the Erica's are in place. Um, I got it in, everything works fine. Oh, and also that included a Billy brake light. So I got like, you know, $1,600 of things for $1,000. Um, but then I spent $125. Uh, got everything hooked up. The Darlis wouldn't turn on. I did some testing back with the clear water. It turns out that I needed a new relay. Uh, well, they think it, I do. And instead of me just buying one from them, which would have saved me a lot of time, I decided to send the Darlis and the, the relay to them for testing. And then they'll let me know definitively what I need to buy. I also asked them to replace the, um, the the housing of the Darlas and make it look nicer. The cable was a little frayed, so I wanted the refurbishment of the Darlas. So they, they had been beaten up a little bit. So, um, and if they were sitting out here where the OEM fog lights are, that's not too surprising then if that they were, if the guy dropped the bike a couple times, they were having some issues. Um, so, uh, that that's a hold up, a delay, basically. Uh, TKC-80s are installed. Uh, in shipment or somehow the people at Woody's or the guy at the tire shop uh, lost my, you can see barely right in there, he, uh, someone or somehow my uh, bearing, the r right bearing there on the tire got lost. Um, so that's $24, order one from Max BMW, it should be here Monday. So I can't ride it even though it's 45 degrees today which was just amazing for winter time to be 45 degrees. I could have ridden it when I got home. I started to put the wheel on and I said, hmm, there's a big hole in this side. I'm glad I didn't ride it. Uh, but I did mount. I know that's probably not the best for it, but I did mount it um, on the bike because I wanted to get it off the center stand. So the reason why is so I can install the Altrider uh, uh, skid plate. I've had this thing on possession for months now and I couldn't install it because uh, you can't have the bike on the center stand to do that. Uh, so you put on the side stand in order to get the uh, the pins out that hold the uh, center stand on in order to mount the Outrider luggage plate. That thing is gorgeous. I want to put a sticker. If you guys can link me to a sticker that's appropriate for the bottom of this bike, because this bike is going to be laying down where this uh, side, the skid plate is exposed probably once a day. So I want a cool friggin' sticker for this thing, for when I do fall over inevitably. Uh, so just, you know, link me to that and I'll, I'll, I'll whatever one gets the most likes or commented on, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that one. <laughs> and if someone owns a sticker shop, I, I, I used to, um, I used to hang out with John Fisher who owns Sticker Giant a lot and, um, I need to, I should email him, but if anyone wants to give me a vinyl sticker that's custom, I'll, I'll email John Fisher and he can make me a vinyl sticker that's customized and it'll go on the bottom of the skip plate. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just sitting around here, so the, the, the racks are off because, um, I had bought, they are for sale, by the way, on Adventure Rider. There's the, uh, 1200 GS Jesse racks. Um, I bought those from Jim. I had them powder-coated. They look brilliant. I got new mounting hardware for them. I got new rubber grommets, kind of refurbishments. I spent, you know, I did a trade. I traded him my GSA racks for the Jesse racks, one-to-one, -one, and then I spent about 150 refurbishing them to be brand new basically and then realize they don't fit uh, the the GSA there was a fitment issue email Jesse to confirm they said yes that's correct and I showed them the picture they said yes that's how it is so um, $340 later I have a new pair of GSA Jesse racks coming so my loss is your game buy some Jesse racks from me uh, not the GSA 1200 GS only um, the Moscomoto bags are mounted on the uh, soft luggage plate for Jesse, so I'm kind of all in, basically. I've got the boxes and I've got the soft luggage mounts, so I kind of had to, to bite the bullet on that one. Um, getting stuff hung hang off here, I've got the GoPro mount going. Obviously the Altrider crash bars are installed, Machine Art Moto bit there is installed. I kind of wish I had thought this through and gotten these things powder coated as well. These are the holders that hold the, um, the OEM uppers to the Altrider lowers, but oh well. Um, the Z-Tech screen is mounted because uh, 
I wanted to. Uh, it's going to go to BMW next week, and I wanted this one to be on it for the uh, for the for the tour. Uh, I've got a new Tom Tom here. I can't talk about it though. <laughs> I, I, I asked specifically, I asked my uh, friends at the beta testing group in Amsterdam, I said, uh, can I mention it on video? And they didn't respond. And their email does say, don't make remarks about it on social media. I, I guess, okay, this is my employer here. I assume, because I, I basically said, I, I have a camera on my helmet at all times. How can I not feature it? <laughs> like if it crashes on camera, what do I do about that? I guess I just edited that out. So it's a new TomTom. -tom. It's already been announced. It's public knowledge this thing exists. It's coming out, uh, I, I don't know, eventually. Um, I have no information on pricing or release date or anything like that. Um, one of the big features that is in the press release is that it updates over Wi-Fi. So you don't have to plug into a computer anymore. Me personally, I like plugging into a computer. But, uh, oh well. Um, but I'm going to test it out, uh, on this, on the, on this, this spring with all my road trips. So it's going to be there, the permanent fixture. Um, I like that you can do it vertical or horizontal. It's kind of nice. But anyway, no remarks. Doesn't exist. <laughs> um, so, uh, what else? So well, I got this cool, um, GoPro smart remote, cheap Chinese thing. So basically I can see if my GoPros are recording. I've got a Hero Session and a Hero 6. Um, so those are going to be, it, it can track both of them. So I can uh, see if they're both recording and pause both of them at the same time as well, which is also nice. Uh, I've got my grip puppies on here, the SW Motec mirror extension, which looks nice. I've got the advanced hand guard that I painted black on the front to match the bike. Um, stabilizer from Z Technic. I moved the Nev the Nev Six back over to the center, which uh, I had originally moved over to the right to mount the phone, my own phone here, and then I'm I've used, I'm using this now for the iPhone mount. And have the USB-C cable or lightning cable come down from there. Um, I also have added a couple things here. So I've got the uh, another GoPro mount here, and then I, another GoPro mount from e from eBay is coming to mount here. It goes to here to here, so it mounts about right there or right here. Um, the reason why is is that I used to run a TomTom -Tom Bandit uh, clipped here, facing towards me for like a picture-in-picture -picture or a two a two angle view of my face and the road ahead. Uh, I still want to maintain that. Um, and I don't really know where to mount that, but I do know that sometimes I don't want to have it on my helmet. I just want to have a kind of a, a traffic camera. So these two locations are great because they can still reach the USB port over here. I don't have to worry about them too much. So I can keep the very lightweight Hero 5 session on my helmet and the GoPro Hero 6 can go down here because it has uh, stabilization. So it'll be able to actually deal with this, these mounts. They're pretty solid though. You know, this is pretty solid. Um, what else? I don't know. Well, we got the side stand guard, uh, the kick, uh, uh, so yeah, side stand guard installed, alt rider risers installed. I yanked off the uh, final drive guard and the uh, mud guard because I'm going to have um, the guys at BMW replace my rear rotor, which is warped. The new rotor is in. Actually, I haven't even opened it yet, but uh, I should go check that out right now. I'm waiting for someone to comment that I didn't powder coat this, but I, I actually don't mind that. Maybe in the summer I'll, I'll do it, but it's not a huge priority. And that that all rider skip plate though it just looks so gnarly. I love the 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 profile of this bike now from the side. You've got the alt rider engine guard there, skid plate down, mounted to the beautiful graphite um, crash bars. It's just it's just a gorgeous gorgeous little you know being. I love it. Okay, yeah, let's uh. Here are my bolts for the rotor. Let's check this thing out. It's it is used. Uh, OEM spec is around 5 millimeters. This is at 4.93. Uh, so still within spec for usable rotor. And when I, I measured my rotor, I took off the bike. And my rotor was at... Uh, this is at 4.97. Uh, my rotor was at 4.9... Shit, what was it? This is at, mine was at 4.93. And this was at 4.97. I think it had more life. So it wasn't used very long. It supposedly fits. I mean, someone at BMW ended up telling me that doesn't fit, and uh, I'll have to spend 380 for a new one. But uh, there it is. And actually, I mean, we just lay it flat on something, shouldn't we? Make sure it's it's even. We have to lay it flat on on the ground, right? Let's use this guy. Yeah, I mean it. It appears to be appears to be sound. Not too rutted. Or uh, 
you know, no crazy dimples or anything. It looks nice. So I think this will this will do me fine for um, for a while. And if BMW says it doesn't fit, then I'll just bite down and pay the 380 and so I get a, a new one. And then that also require new brake pads. So that'll be fun. But um, yeah, what? Else? I mean, that's it. That's everything. That's all of it. So. Uh, this is pretty much it for BMW modifications, and I, 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 I mean it that time. Sorry, I was holding the microphone with my finger. I think it's pretty much it for BMW modifications. I'm toying with the idea of using a 25% off coupon to buy the Alt Rider um, guard. I think the Wild at Heart guard is just looks a little shitty. I mean, I, it's it was low, it was very low cost. I got it used. Wild at Heart has great customer support. I just don't like the look of it. It's just kind of amateur compared to the rest of the kit here. So I may use that to buy the headlight guard before my March trip. Um, once I get the stuff back from Clearwater, I'll install those. And once I get the racks from Jesse on Wednesday, I'll install those before the bike goes out to BMW on Thursday. Uh, today is Thursday, but next Thursday. And uh, yeah, you know the the uh, I did not do install videos for the for the the skid plate, the crash bars, or the Clearwater install. And the reason why is because they're kind of time consuming installs. Um, I, I, I double the time it takes me to do these things by making it into a video. It takes twice as long on everything easily. And when I go through something frustrating or if I hit a roadblock and I have to stop, then I have to save that video to my hard drives and, you know, revisit it in a week when the company gets me the replacement part or gets me a, a, a changed thing or gets back to me with feedback or a suggestion. And then if I make a wrong turn and do something fucked up, I have to then remember to delete that clip and it ends up being like an hour video for you know a four hour Clearwater install I mean, in truth it's not that it's it's an hour for sure to do it yourself but it's not an hour long video if that makes sense so um, I'm just not doing it I, 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 I know I spoke to Altrider and Mark at Altrider and he told me he said if you do um, a video for the crash bars and the skid plate together he would probably fe he would probably feature it for me on their, you know, social media profiles, and I was really excited about that. But then when I started getting into it, I just didn't, I just didn't do it. <laughs> so, and and as you guys remember, when I was initially taking up this task about two months ago, um, I had um, cross-threaded two of the four screws, or two screws on this side, two screws on the other side. I cross-threaded two out of four of them, and I had to have a local professional come in and um, uh, re-tap that for me. It took away a lot of the metal, and I was really concerned that I was going to screw it up again by doing this again. I did not screw it up again. It went in perfectly. I used not permanent Loctite, but really strong Loctite on this. I do hope, I should say this clip, I do hope this does not come back to bite me in the ass over the lifetime I have with this bike. If I, you know, over the next five years, if I have to keep, you know, making the hole bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, it's going to be a real pain in my ass, and it's all self-inflicted because I was impatient and tired, and I just pushed through without stopping and taking a breath. And you guys probably know this, who are who are seasoned mechanics and experts, but you know when you're hitting a a, a, a roadblock, stop and like walk away for an hour. Don't don't try to push through it because you're or, or get a friend, get another set of eyes on it because you are going to screw yourself and. When you damage holes that go into an engine block, it's you can you can live through it. But anyway, I'm still pissed off that I did that to myself, and uh, do not make my same mistake. When I start cross threading, I try it one more time. If it doesn't work the second time, I've now learned to stop and go to bed because <laughs> I'm usually doing this stuff at midnight, and uh, I haven't had that problem since then. But those are engine, you know, block bolts with central central frame support and uh, it really pisses me off that I fuck myself up with that so sorry to stress out about it but it still is on my mind as I really hope that a year from now I'm not you know on a road trip and, and feel unstable and realize that those bolts have just fallen out that's all um, okay that's all of the video. Very long video. I'm sorry about that, but I, I do hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a follow-up video. It's probably going to be two weeks from now. That follow-up video will include um, racks, boxes, clear water install, uh, any more accessories that I get, 
Maybe even the alt rider plate will be on for the, the for the headlight guard. I'll have some guards for the fog lights that are coming from China for twenty six dollars. Short was eighty dollars. 